Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss about the number representation, memory location and addresses and the memory operations. So in that first topic is number representation. How to represent the number in your computer? So for that we have three systems. In that first one it is a sign, in this first one it is a sign and magnitude. So first one is sign and magnitude system. Sign and magnitude system. So in this, say for example, plus 7, plus 7. How to represent this in the sign and magnitude system? So yes, we know that 1, 2, 4, 8 system. So for 7, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. So in the sign and magnitude also, plus 7 will be represented as 0, 1, 1, 1, right? So, but the negative number, say for example, minus 7. So, how to represent the minus 7? Here, the most significant bit. So, in that, in this 4 bit, the most significant bit is this. So, this number, it is used to represent the sign. Okay. So, for 0, the most significant bit value is, always it is, uh, for uh, if the most significant bit value is 0 then it represents the positive number if the most significant bit is 1 then it, it represents the negative number okay here it is a minus 9 how to represent the minus 9 in sign and magnitude system it is this is the this is a most significant bit so this bit is it is used to represent the sign right here 1 because it is a minus symbol, right? 1 and 7 is 1, 1, 1, okay? Take another one example, plus 6. So, how to represent the plus 6? So, in this, it is 0, 1, 1, 0, right? Here also, the plus 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0, right? But, again, take minus 6. How to represent the minus 6 in sign and magnitude system? Yes, in this 4 bit, this is the most significant bit. So, it is a negative number. Now, 0 becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So, this is minus 6, okay? So, likewise, take another one, an example, minus 5. So, for 5, it is, for 5, it is uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. So, for minus 9, it is 1, 1, 0, 1 and so on. This is the sign and magnitude system representation. So, in the second one, second representation is, second representation is 1's complement. So, 1's complement system. So, in this 1's complement system, again take the plus 7 as the example, right? So, plus 7 again, it is 0, 1, 1, 1, right? 0, 1, 1, 1, but the negative minus 7, it is different complement. You need to take the complement of each bit. So, for minus 7, it is take a complement of 0, it is 1, take a complement of 1, it is 0, 0, 0. So, 1, 0, 0, 0 is the minus 7. It is a, it is a 1's complement representation for minus 7. Again, take another one example, plus 6. Yes, it is 0, 1, 1, 0. So, in the 1's complement representation for minus 6, it is, takes the complement of each bit. So, it is 1, 0, 0, 1. So, like that. Okay. So, this is a second system and the last and third system is 2's complement system. Next is the 2's complement system. Third one is 2's complement system. Okay. So, in the 2's complement system, again here, first take the 1's complement of each bit and add plus 1 to that. Okay, here again plus 7, how to represent the plus 7? Yes, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. How to represent the minus 7 in the 2's complement? Minus 7, first you need to take the 1's complement of this. 
So, one's complement of this is 1 0 0 0 and add plus 1 for 2's complement. Now, 1 0 0 1 is the answer. So, 1 0 0 1 it is a minus 7. So, this is a 2's complement representation for minus 7. Okay. So, next is plus 6. Take a second example plus 6. For plus 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. Next is minus 6. So, for minus 6, so for that take the 1's complement 1, 0, 0, 1 and add plus 1 for this. Now, 1, 1, it is 0, carry and 1, 0, 1. So, 1, 0, 1, 0, it is a minus 6 in the 2's complement representation and take another example plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 and so on okay so this is all about the number representation so in that we are using three systems one is sign and magnitude and the second one is one's complement and the third one is two's complement method so the next is addition of positive numbers so in this three systems so, for representation for positive number it is same, but while representing the negative number it is differ from one system to another system. Okay. So, here addition of positive numbers. So, in that, so addition of positive number it is very easy because see here, say for example in the addition of 0, 0. So, 0, 0, it is a positive number. So, the answer is 0. So, for 1, 0, to add 1, 0, the answer will be 1. Okay. So, the next is 0, 1. So, again, it is a positive number. The answer is, again, is 1. But for 1, 1, 1, 1, here, the answer is 0 and the carry is 1. Okay, this is a positive number addition. Okay, next is add and subtraction of the signed numbers, addition and subtraction of the signed numbers. Okay, for this, please note down the formula first, then the calculation is very easy. Okay. So, what is that formula? Here, take an x and y value, x and y x and y here for addition for addition for addition so x is positive number plus plus and y is also a positive number then you need to add only add x plus y so this is very easy just add the value x plus y right so in the this is first one first formula second one if the x value is negative minus x then add with the plus y so minus x add with the plus y so in this case you need to take the two's complement of the x value so take the two's complement of x then x plus y right so next next formula is so if x value is positive number then y value is negative number then take the two's complement of take the two's complement of y and then add x plus y right so next is fourth one if both the number is negative, so minus x plus of minus y, then you need to take the two's complement of both x and y value, then add x and y value. You need to take both two's complement for both x and y, both x and y. Okay, take an example. So, for first one, for the first one, uh, plus 2 and plus 3. 3. So, plus 2 and plus 3. How to represent the plus 2? Yes. So, it is 0, 0, 
1 0 0 0 1 0 next is plus 3 it is 0 0 1 1 so if both the number is positive so we are checking the first formula so if the both the number is positive then add x plus y right so 0 1 so in the previous yeah 0 1 is 1 and 1 1 Yes, yeah, it is zero and carry one. Now one zero zero. Now it is one zero zero. It is zero. So here three plus two. It is plus five. Yes, check the answer now. One two four eight. So zero one zero one. So it is nothing but five plus five. Okay, got it. Take the next example. Take the second example here. So minus two and plus three, minus two and plus three, right? What is the answer? Yes, it is. It is plus one, right? So minus two, min uh, for plus two, it is zero zero one zero. Takes the two's complement of x. This is x, right? This is y. Takes the two's complement of x. Now two's complement of x is for so two is zero zero one zero. So after the two's complement, it is one one zero one. Add one, it is zero one one one. Two's complement of two is one 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 zero. Okay. So for plus three, it is zero zero one one. Now add these two. So here zero one is one 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 is Zero and carry one, and again one one is one one is uh, zero, and again carry one 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 zero again. It is zero and carry, and here we neglect the carry. Okay, now so for this zero 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 one is a positive one. Yes, right plus one. Correct answer, right? So take another one example. Okay. Next example, it is uh, okay. Plus two and minus three. Plus two and minus three. Okay, for uh, plus two it is zero zero one zero. But for minus three you need to take the if x y is uh, negative then you need to take the two's complement of y. So for that minus three is zero zero one one is. Three takes two's complement one one zero zero and add one 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 zero one right one one zero one now one one zero one so now add these two so one 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 okay so here what is the answer it is minus one it is minus one right so for plus one it is zero 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 one right. Takes the two's complement for this for minus one. It is one 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 zero. Add one. Answer is one 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 one. Check this with the, this. Yes, correct, right? Yes. Okay. Now take another one example. So for the last one, it is minus two and minus three. Minus two and minus three. Okay, for minus two again it is zero zero one zero takes two's complement of this it is one one zero one and add one zero one 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 right okay minus two is one 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 zero and minus three is one one zero one and add these two so now answer is so zero one is one so one zero is again one 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 is zero. And one 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 is one and carry one and neg neglect the carry. So this is a minus five. So take the two's complement of five, then you'll get one zero one one. Yes, correct. Okay, this is for addition. So next is for subtraction. Again, we have same set of formulas. We'll check that now. Okay, so here 
for subtraction again take two variables x and y. So, here x is positive and y is positive then you need to subtract these two numbers then you need to take the two's complement of two's complement of y right. So, similar way if x is negative and y is positive you need to subtract these two here you need to take two's complement of both the numbers both x and y. So, takes two's complement for both x and y ok. So, again if the x is positive but y is negative then you need to subtract these two here no need to worry directly you can do x plus y right. So, next is if both x and y value is negative you need to subtract these two numbers. So, in this case takes the 2's complement of x and add both x and y value. So, first is x is positive y is positive in this case takes the 2's complement of a y and add x with the y. So, this a, though this is a subtraction you need to take the 2's complement and add x and y value ok. Take the same example. So, here it is plus 2 and plus 3. So, here you need to subtract these two number ok. How? So, first is 2 it is same but here it is y value is plus 3 but you need to subtract it. So, in that case you need to take the 2's complement of 3. So, it is a 2's complement of 3 0 0 1 1. So, for that 1 1 0 0 add 1 1 1 0 1 for minus 3 right. Now, add x and y value. So, for that it is for 2 it is 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 and for minus 3 it is 1 1 0 1 and add these two ok. So, 1 1 1 1. Now, the answer for this is minus 1. So, takes the 2's complement of 1 you will get this answer ok. So, then take another one example plus 2 and uh, next is ok minus 2 and plus 3 minus 2 and plus 3. So, minus 2 and plus 3. So, again plus 3 here it is a subtraction now, now you need to take 2's complement of both x and y and add x and y value. So, for minus 2 it is 0 0 1 0 2's complement 1 1 0 1 it is 1 1 1 0 right. So, 1 1 1 0 for minus 3 it is 1 1 0 1 and add these two 1 1 0 1. So, neglect the carry you will get the answer. Likewise take x and y value here x is positive y is negative in this directly you can add x and y value because minus into minus is plus and take another one example for x and y. So, here both x and y is negative but here minus into minus is plus but takes 2's complement of only x value got it ok. So, the next topic is memory location and addressing. Ok. So, the next topic is memory location, memory location and addressing. So, in this, so in this yes, yes we have numbers. So, we have characters, we have strings and we have set of instructions. How to represent, how to store all these things into memory. So, that is a main thing in the computer organization. So, here so we have numbers right, we have numbers, we have 
characters and we have some set of instructions machine instructions right you need to store this in the memory how so here the main memory will be divided into the actually the main memory will be divided into millions of cells and each cells each cells in that millions of cells each cells it contains one bit right to represent any numbers or any characters it is not enough that one bit so for that we group that bits into n bits okay to represent number we need n bits to represent character again we need n bits to represent the instructions again we need n plus bits okay so here what is that bit it is a group of bits so here here that group of bits it is called as in the memory it is called as word so say for example this is the memory right this will be divided into n number of bits here n represent the n represent the length of the word so word it is nothing but it is again it is a group of n bits right the length that n represent the length of that word so this is the memory location and this is the first word first word so again this is the memory location it contains n cells n bit cells then it is a second word likewise likewise so again this is n bits so this is the last word in the memory the last word in the memory okay so here uh, this words and all okay but how to represent number how to store number in this word so here the number it occupies full one word right this full one word it is occupied by this number but character always the character will be converted into ascii value and that ascii value will be stored in this word but the in the representation character once you declare the character variable it will allocate only one byte right but the number it will allocate two or four bytes it depends on the compiler okay so here yes number it occupies full one word but character it will be again divided into number of bytes and it occupies only one byte okay but instructions yes it can occupy one word or more than one word okay say for example if n bit n value was 32 so 32 bit so that 32 is a word length so the first word length is 32 bit and the second word length again it is a 32 bit and the last word length again it is a 32 word okay 32 bit word length now see it is a as i said it is divided into uh, divided into one bit cell millions of cell okay so see for example this is bit 0 so in this bit 32 bit word length 32 bit word length in this 32 bit word length this is bit 0 and bit 1 bit 2 and so on this is bit 32 sorry 31 and this is 30 right so again here this the most significant bit this b31 b31 it will represent the positive and negative number if the b31 number is 0 it contains 0 then it is used to represent the positive number like that if this b31 it contains 1 that that means this number is negative number right this is a representation of number next is the character how to represent the character how to store the character in this 32 bit so this will be divided into this full word will be divided into four parts four parts right four cells and each cell it is a it is a 8 bit it is used to represent the ascii value so ascii character 
ASCII value. Okay, so each cell, each cell, it will contain single character. Say for example, it contain A. Representation ASCII value of A is 65. It contains 65, for example. And another one is uh, B for 66, and so on. Okay. Okay. This is all about uh, representation of number, character, and the instructions. So next is next topic is byte addressability so what do you mean by that byte addressability address so take an example you want to go to your friend house how how you'll identify this is your friend house so for that you need the particular address right so particular house number and uh, street number and area and uh, district and uh, 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 country etc etc right here also to identify say for example this word second word contain the number called uh, 65 64 and 66 any one number so how to identify that number so for that for that your computer will need the address so that address uh, you cannot uh, assign address for each bit it is not it is unpractical right so for that we are not using the bit address here we are using the byte address okay so so byte address we are using the byte address to represent to identify the particular location in the memory okay so next is big endian and the little endian assignments what do you mean by that big endian and little endian assignments See, so take an example of memory, say it is a 32 bit word length, so in that 32 bit we are dividing into 4 bytes, right, 4 bytes, yes, okay, see. So, to identify this particular cell, you need byte address. So, you need to identify this particular word, you need word address. Okay. So, here in the big endian concept, the big endian concept, the most significant bit, it contains the smallest address. Okay. This is the most significant byte, so it contains the smallest address. So next is 1, 2, 3. After this, so next is, this is 4, 5, 6 and 7. Right? This is a word address. This is a byte address. Now, the address of this is 0 and the address of this word is starts with 4. Okay? So in the big Indian concept, in the big Indian concept, the most significant byte it contains the smallest address so byte address yes it is 000, zero, zero right so take an example for little endian this is the memory and it is a 32 bit length word length again this will be divided into four bytes okay so here in the little endian concept the least significant bit will contain the smallest byte address that means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is big endian and this is little endian say for example john how to store this john in the big endian representation assignments here so here it is a character right it will occupy one byte of memory so j so this is o h and this is n john right but in the little endian assignments the j will be stored here j o h n clear so in this big endian the most significant bit contains the less address, uh, smallest address and the, in the little endian, the most significant bit contains the highest or the least 
significant bit contain the smallest byte address okay so the next topic is word the next topic is word alignment so in the byte addressable format so always uh, that address will be ranges the word length it will be the word length ranges from 16 to 64 16 to 64 bit the word length it varies from it ranges from 16 to 64 bits say in the word alignment alignment means what so take an example of any street so here in the 30 40 sites it is equal right it is aligned right here also the address in the memory the the length of the word it is similar it is aligned it is not unaligned so i'll tell you how okay so always the address is multiple of 2 right so in 16 bit in 16 bit always the word address is like that 0 so 16 is nothing but it contains 2 bytes right so the first word address uh, starts with 0 and the next address it is 2 and the next address yes it is 4 and the next address it is 6 and so on right if the word length if the word length is 32 bit 32 bit in this case so uh, 32 means it is 4 bytes the word address it is always it is aligned right so for that it is 0 4 so 4 plus 4 it is 8 8 plus 4 it is 12 and so on right so the next is if it is a 64 bit if the word length is 64 bit so it is nothing but it is 8 bytes so 8 bytes so in this case 8 bytes means the word address it is 0 8 16 and so on the word address for 62 bit in the 62 bit word length so it is 0 8 16 and so on okay so the next is next is assigning assigning a sorry accessing the accessing the number character and the character string so as we know that for number it is a positive or negative the most significant bit will tells that it is a positive number this is a negative number and full word will be allocated for each number okay but uh, in the character again the word will be divided into bytes so that one byte will be allocated for each character but in the string say for example john right john how in the big indian method this is a 32 bit length and john will be stored like this right so how your computer will identify this is the end of the string so for that to represent the string at the end of the string you need to give one control signal right so that control signal or that control symbol it is called as null character you need to add you need to add at the end of this string your computer need to add the null character this is a special character to represent the string okay so the next topic is memory operations So, here, so in the first session, yes, we know that uh, we have some set of instructions, right? So, in that we have, we are studying about different set of instructions, arithmetic instructions, logic instructions, and load and store instructions, right? So, in the first session, yes, here also, same thing. So, for memory operation, we need two instructions. One is load instruction and another one is a store instruction. And the second one is store instruction. 
So, yes, see if the processor need to execute the program, need to execute the instruction. So, for that it need some any data, right? In that case, so your processor need to take the data from the memory to memory to processor, right? To travel the data from memory to processor, we need instruction, that instruction is called load. So, here the data will be moved from memory to memory to processor, right? So, for example, load here, here first you need to, uh, need to give, uh, you need to take the location address or location A. Say for example, this is your memory and this is the location A, it contain for example, uh, 2 you need to add two number. So, here for arithmetic operation, you need to store this two into the register. So, register again it is in the, it is present inside the processor, right? So, here it is a data, it is traveled from, from memory to processor, location A to R0. So, here value of two, it will be stored in the register R0, got it? So, the next is store instruction. So, after the, uh, after completion of the process, again the result will be again stored back into the memory. So, for that we need another one instruction, that instruction name is store, right? Say for example, after this add, add location B comma R0, right? So, here after that you need to store the result addition of two number result right in the location c here first r0 comma location c c this is okay here we need location b right so 2 3 example right location a will contain value 2 and location b will contain value so, first in this instruction, load instruction, it will take the data from location A and copy that in the R0, right, R0. Now, R0 will contain the value, R0 will contain the value 2, right. So, in the next instruction execution, addition, right, location B, here location B value is 3. So, location B with R0, now R0 it contains 2. So, 3 plus 2 is 5 and here the result will be again stored in the location R0. Now, location R0 value it is 5, right? Next is store. So, here store is the instruction, here you need to copy this 5 into memory, right? R0 contains 5 and location where to store in the location B, right? Here, this is the location B. 5 will be stored here. So, in the load instruction, in the load instruction, the memory value, what uh, what actually it contains, it is remaining same. After the execution also, this remains same. It is untouched in the load instruction, but in the store instruction, it may be, it may be replaced with the result, okay? So, in the next session, we will discuss about